Hey, it's John and Mike from BrewDashDudes.com, and we're, we're, well, we're getting beers from people who watch our videos, and th we're going to call this uh, exchange number 48, going back to the brewer, uh, viewer submitted beers, and uh, this one has a great story because it ties into our Jar of Destiny, Jar of Destiny. series. Um, we have both uh, chosen, or at least uh, the jar has chosen for us, uh, two big malty beers. And uh, Dave sent us uh, a couple of things. Number one, he sent us some malt. And uh, he said, this is uh, dark Munich malt from uh, Riverbend malt. And, okay. Yeah. yeah. And so he, uh, <laughs> I think this reminds me of you winning like, 10 pounds or 50 pounds of like, yeah. was it midnight yeah. rye or chocolate rye? Chocolate rye. Well, he, un he, I think he was only looking to buy some uh, poundages of this, but he like, you know, kind of fat fingered and got 10 pounds yep. of this by accident for by accident. But I uh, wanted to, to share it with us because he thinks it's tasty stuff. It's got a lot of like dark fruit, uh, chocolate uh, toast, and all this stuff. Anyway, all good stuff. And then. He brewed a beer, uh, beer with it. So actually, he said, you know, I, you know, I can send you some of this malt because I've got plenty of it if you want it. And it probably will work really well in your beers. I'm like, that's great. And then he said, well, I also have a beer that I brewed with it, too. You should taste it. So as you're tasting, uh, this is a uh, 5.1 ABV experimental dark lager, which he used 93% of the dark Munich. Awesome. <laughs> Uh, he said, I totally missed the spec sheet before doughing in like a big dummy, he calls himself. But it's a fun beer, so you can ex assess the flavor that a heavily kilned craft malt we can bring to a party. Yep. So this is an experimental lager using a lot of uh, dark Munich in it. Yeah. So what's your takes? Um, this is like 20 Lovabond dark Munich. Like That's what dark Munich usually is about 20 Lovabond. Yeah. I'd have um, to look at the actual site, but yeah. It's... It's it's beautiful. It is on the nose. There's a lot of um, bread, like fruity bread. There's like caramelized fig, almost type of aromas. Um, it's not quite like pushing into like that cherry domain, which I like, um, you know. And then it's, but but it's like a, it's almost like molasses, like brown bread. That's what yes, it's that's like exactly what bread, it is. And then, uh, and then more of that carries through on the flavor. It is rich. It's rich and it's but without being cloying. I mean, it's got a it's got a, a heavy malt sweetness, molasses again, like dark wheat bread, brown bread, um, raisin. Definitely a little like a raisin in there. Um, now I'm getting a little bit of um, there's enough hop on the back end. Mm. I'm getting, a, I'm, I'm sensing a little bit of the bitterness from the hops, um, which in the, you know, it sort of refreshes the palate from all that heavy malt sweetness. Yeah. Um, that malt profile is amazing. Yeah, it smells really great too. I mean, it just smells great, tastes great. It's pretty cool. Yeah. From the site, um, from the actual Riverbend malt site, uh, they give the uh, SRM between 25 and 35. Yeah. And I would say that color is, it's, it's, it's deep copper. Oh yeah, deep deep copper. It's almost brown. Yeah, almost brown. Yeah. It's got. Um, yeah, it would be brown if it didn't have those red notes mm -hmm. on the edges. Mm -hmm. uh, so, which is super cool, super nice looking beer. Uh, let me see if I can the, the detailed. Um, I don't know how much like a pint would probably be. Even if it's only five something for five and a half percent. Yep. Um, it's richness. I don't. Uh, you know, man, a pint. You know what? After I got through a pint of it, I'd probably like. You know, like, I'd take one more of those. <laughs> uh, <laughs> I'm looking. And for, this is some of that malt too. Right? Yeah, yeah. So you can taste some of that. So I mean, it, I had a, a crunch of the malt before we turned on the old camera, but uh, mm. I think it's uh, pretty darn good. Yeah, it's great. Yeah. So he gave. I said, "Don't you don't have to send us too much." I think he sent you a pound, which is here. Okay. Um, and then uh, sent me one. So I'm going to use it in my ice book. Um, I know exactly where I'm going to use that. Yeah. I've got. A, a, you've another got another. You've got another beer. Wanna, another yeah. beer. Yeah. All right. Let me see. Like, so he also sent us uh, uh, another beer, which we'll you know we'll probably have off camera. Um, 
but this is um, some he's his friend. Like, look at that. Look at that uh, can. You may want to bring that up. So, a uh, 16 ounce can of a double Schwarz beer uh, that his buddy and I made uh, in this place in San Diego the same weekend as the Homebrew Con 2023. It's uh, a <laughs> 6.66%. Uh, his homebrew brand if, uh, is uh, Tourmaline Brewing, Tur Tourmaline Brewing. Um, so he's uh, interested to see how this turns out. We'll definitely taste that and yep. send him the notes. Once we verify that the friend is a subscriber, <laughs> we'll taste it. Okay. <laughs> there you go. That's how we're going to like, that's, is that the, the angle we're going with too? You know, just making sure that they subscribe to the channel before we taste their beer. That seems desperate. <laughs> I don't know. I think that's a tough one. I don't know if I, we uh, have to, we'll have, we'll bring that up in the meeting. Okay. <laughs> with the crew. Yeah. With the crew. <laughs> Talk to them about it. Um, all right. So interesting malts. Wonderful uh, stuff. I definitely want to try uh, uh, adding this to my recipe. And converting that to a beer is this is yeah. a pretty good yeah. successful beer. Yeah. Especially for this time of year. Mm -hmm. I think it's a it's a nice and nice if, little beer. And if yeah and at 5.1 percent it's uh, right yeah. up my alley. There you go. Yeah I love it. Nice sessionable point. All right well uh, thanks Dave we appreciate it. Uh, thanks for being a part of the old exchange and uh, thanks for thinking of us. He, uh, he thanked us for your review of the anchovy hops. You had that in the old uh, add to cart. Perfect. Took it right out <laughs> when you said, nah, this is garbage. <laughs> uh, so thanks for watching. Uh, like this video if you like it. Subscribe to our channel. We do this kind of thing every single week. For John and Mike, brewdashdudes.com. Brew on. Cheers.